Acts chapter 2. David did not ascend to heaven, yet he said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. This is referring to Psalm 110, verse 1, which says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. So uh, Jesus used that as well. So this is clearly showing there are two lords in heaven. <laughs> Both sit on the throne. The Lord, David referred to, is uh, is is uh, Yahweh, God the Father, and then my Lord, the intimate one to us. Guess who that is? Jesus Christ. So my Lord is Jesus, the, my Lord. And the Lord is God the Father. Essentially it's like Yahweh, God of Old Testament, and the God of New Testament for like <laughs> in action. Just dispen different dispensation. So that's really two persons in the Trinity plus the Holy Spirit, three. There will be a triune God or three person in one God head. The only religion in the world that has this kind of a setup. It is amazing. Um, therefore, there's a chemistry, there's a relationship, there's a bonding, there's an intimacy between the three of them. The Lord, my Lord, and the Spirit. Three. Or Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Three in one. Amazing. So Acts 2, Peter is quoting from Psalm 110. That is, that is the basis of Trinitarian God. There's so much. And uh, so that we understand Jesus is God. Jesus is the Lord. So that because Jesus is so mysterious in a sense, because he is both man and God. That's why the confusion is. But in reality, that is like sort of the most powerful secret that's been released to the world, unleashed to the world. That's what the secret of the gospel that the angels long to look into it for thousands of years. And that is it. What is that? God became man and died for humanity. And that is the very basis of incarnation. That is such a mysterious thing. So the, it, the thing is, the point is that that did not happen the last minute. You know? That happened even before the foundation of the world. Even before thousands of years Jesus was born into the world, Psalmist. David already wrote that in the book of Psalms. The Lord said to my Lord. Two different persons. Two different Lords, if you like. One God, one Lord. But two different, three different persons. Okay, so that, that clears it. Um, this is speaking in the context of Jesus being crucified on the and on the day of Pentecost the Spirit of God was poured down and that Peter was trying to explain to the folks that the Jesus they crucified is my Lord is <laughs> the very Son of God for the Jews must be baffled them how can God have son Right? It's an eternal mystery that God the Father, God the Son, or God the Holy Spirit. So to these days, so that the Jewish people need to know, the one that crucified has been prophesied to sit on the throne. What does it say? The Father said to the Son, sit on my right hand side until I make your enemies. 
to be a footstool for you. You know what a footstool is? It's where you rest your feet, you crush them, essentially. God the Father said, Son, you have done all the hard work now. It is really tough, I know. You have bled, you've given your life, you've been crushed on the cross. Now you're resurrected. Now I will work and make sure all those who crucify you, well, it's not exactly all those who crucify you. It's the powers of darkness that went against Jesus, that caused the rabbinic, the Pharisees, rebellions and the Romans, hatred towards Jesus. Till today, today we have seen many, many of those demonic expressions and powers of darkness. Principalities of darkness working against us, bringing moral chaos, destroying the cosmic order that Proverbs called wisdom, substituting it with the dark wisdom, destroying lives and all this. That's what's happening. And that's why Peter is arguing that those days will have a reckoning. So Jesus has done his job. He's risen the back, going back to heaven. He's fought a good fight. Now he passed the baton in a sense to us, but he sent the Holy Spirit unto us to empower us, to help us to continue the work, to be his witnesses around the world. Okay? And God the Father promised he will join the fight now. He will make sure crush all the enemies, the principalities of darkness that are wrecking, they are currently wrecking our society, our, our culture now. Okay, dismantling the, the cosmic order of the Word of God. You know, everything that's going against God's Word, uh, misleading, everything that is in the society cause them to walk away from God to walk into idolatry and uh, eventually burn in hell and God said I will make them your footstool so eventuality there will be complete triumph for the church of Jesus Christ by the time Christ returns so this means this complete footstool will happen when Jesus returns um, on his second coming. Or it's a gradual manifestation. The victory of God through the Christ, through our Lord Christ, become bigger and bigger, stronger and stronger. That as we get closer to the end time, we'll see greater glory, greater victory of Christ that's at work now okay we are in the thick of that process that God the Father promised he will make the enemies Christ's enemies is our enemies to become Christ's footstool and we are in the thick of it and let's be strong and believe this is gonna happen amen